Hi, today we're going to be talking about the Beatdown Step Sequencer by Sonic Faction. It runs on both APC40 and Launchpad. This video is going to go over the APC40 version. Let's go to the Library, MIDI Effects, Max MIDI Effects, and Sonic Faction folder. Drag and drop it in front of your Beatdown instrument. So, first thing you need to do is select APC40 from the drop down list. And as soon as you do that, you'll notice it'll jump right into step sequencing mode. If it's your first time using the device, we definitely recommend going to the little question mark circle right down here and clicking that. That'll launch the full manual pop-up window, which you can leave open and use as a reference guide. It has an overview of all the device's features as well as a really useful layout section. We'll leave that open for now and go back to exploring some of the device's other features. One button you definitely want to know about is the Detail View button. Holding this one down will allow you to switch on and off the beatdown step sequencer, allowing you to go back and forth between default APC mode and the step sequencer. If I hit the master button, I can preview the drum cells. Pressing the clip track button will focus the APC's knobs on the kit selector so I can change the sound on the fly. The track selection row is where you can switch between all the different modes that the beatdown step sequencer has to offer. Most of the note sequencing you'll be doing will be in the top six rows, including the clip stop row. So let's push play and lay down a beat. Pressing each blue solo light will increase my pattern by eight steps, up to 64 steps total. Pressing a button in the activator row will take me to one of the eight pages that I can step sequence on. Pressing the bank select up button takes me to the next set of sounds in the kit. Holding down a note allows me to select one of four velocities from the scene launch buttons. Those velocity settings can be made on the GUI of the beatdown step sequencer. Now that we have a basic pattern going, let's explore some of the other modes. Mode 2 is Note Duration. Remember that you have to use the Sustain Kit preset that comes with the beatdown if you want to take advantage of the Note Duration section. That sounds pretty cool. Let's go to the next mode, mode three, the groove mode. You can use the clip stop buttons for course settings or the cue level knob to really dial it in. So we have eighth note, 16th note, eighth note triplet, 16th note triplet, and a whole bunch of other custom ones too. Next, we're going to go to mode 4, which is the pattern looper. This mode allows you to loop sections of your pattern on the fly. In eighth notes, quarter notes, and sixteenth notes. Mode 5 is our global effects mode. The buttons momentarily trigger the global effects rack that's at the end of the beatdown instrument. Mode 6 is reverse. Mode 7 is random, and Mode 8 is the preset mode. To save your current pattern, just hold down the 8 button and press any empty clip slot.
Next, we're going to show you the sequence modulation section. You can use these knobs to target up to four separate parameters at a time. Each of the knobs displays one of the four sequence modulations you can have running at a time. Select number one, hit learn. Now select the hi-hat and choose one of the parameters. Let's do pitch. Now we can go back to the knobs and begin tweaking out on the sound. The red slider on the GUI also determines the range of the sequence modulation. Now let's head back to the device control section and we'll explain what some of the buttons and knobs do over here. The clip track button allows you to control the beatdowns kit selector section. The device on-off button allows you to control the individual drum sound rack. Just click on the drum cell you want to control, and then the instruments in closing rack. drum comes with its own effects rack and we can access that by pressing the left arrow. And finally you can press the right arrow to control the global effects rack.